this Groove Garage folding plastic box from Amazon Japan is another item I've had my eye on for quite a while. They're fairly expensive, but the price for some reason recently it went down and I thought now is my chance. I'm going to get one of these and take a look at it. I, I was skeptical about these because the folding boxes that I've seen, the lids are really flimsy. I, I just, I never really liked them, but Groove Garage has been doing some neat things with putting decals and graphics on these boxes. There's a bunch of them that I, that I think would be really neat. There's some uh, Thunderbirds themed boxes that they have. They've got another uh, Japan Railway Freight themed box. The company that actually manufactures these, I think is called Sanko. So here's the, the logo of the manufacturer, Sanko. They've got L51B-B here, but they've got L41, 51B here. I was curious about the color reproduction of this because when, when they show this on Amazon, it's, it's a brighter, deeper red than this, but this isn't bad. The color on this is better than I thought it was gonna be. So these are not raised or embossed letters. So this is obviously printed on here with some sort of ink. This is not a vinyl sticker. It almost looks like it, almost feels like it, but it's not. This is actually ink that's been applied to this. So what's its durability? Where, where will it wear off? I don't know. The edges on these characters look a little low res because they're putting it on a textured area. This Japanese text just says Japan Freight, Freight Railway Company. This particular kit comes with additional set of decal stickers that can be applied to create more detail. So we'll open this up and notice some lettering here. And again, we've got the L51B-B designation. We've got Sanko over here with the Japanese logo, the date of manufacture, code, and the same on this lid. It is obviously flexible, but it's, it's pretty good. It's not bad. You can see that it, it does stay straight. It doesn't flop or bend under its own weight. Something else would have to be pushing on this to make it flex. Here, they've got that texture area. Then they've got texture there. So every box is gonna have this tab on it. The depth of the bottom is equal to the height of the tab on the other side. Okay, and then these, it's got these four indentations. I'm not sure if those fit on a cart. There is no lock that prevents the bottom from, from flopping. There, 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 isn't, there isn't anything that locks it into this shape. It just is always ready to flop open into this shape. And inside here, this is the decal sheet that comes with it. Give it some more detail. And then we go like this. And there's the sides, and then you have to kind of open it to kick, to kick the sides out like that. So they've got this piece here. It's not rough, it's, it's smooth, it's soft, and it kind of seals that box up. But there's what the box looks like. All right. On the inside, on the bottom, we can see these holes. They've got holes like this in all the corners. They've got two holes in the middle on the bottom. I'm a little disappointed to see those holes because I was thinking of using this kind of as a, for my hobbies. Okay, I'm gonna load up a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna put all my hobby stuff in here. And then I'm gonna load it up and I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna set it on the ground. So now if I set it on wet grass, if I set it on uh, sand, if I set it on a, a dirt driveway or anything like that, that stuff is gonna get inside. The other problem with these holes is, is that even if I don't take it outside, I just use it indoors, 
and I want to use it for my new Lego box, Lego pieces, the small Lego pieces, especially the ones that always work their ways to the bottom of the pile of Legos, those are gonna fall out of there. So what I did was I went on Amazon and I got these eight millimeter, five sixteenths plastic plugs. And I'm gonna put these in here to plug those holes. In a rough situation, you know, these could be pushed pushed back out from the back here. Let me do it, let me do it this way. Whoops, just shot that across the room. But if you've got, you know, Legos in here pushing down on that, they're probably not gonna pop out. So, but if I put my hobby stuff in here, I put my hobby stuff in my vehicle and I go somewhere and I take this out of the vehicle and I set it outside and I forget about it and I don't be really careful and keep it out of the sun. If this sits out in the sun, is this plastic UV rated? And I guess I don't know that. I would have to do more research. Making this look like a freight box, like a little miniature uh, Japanese rail freight box. What a neat idea. It's just fun. It's just, it's fun to display this. But I'll put these stickers on and then I'll show you what it looks like with all the stickers on. Is that 10, 15 pounds of Legos? That makes a nice Lego box. I thought it was gonna fill it up more than that. Boy, that, that holds a lot of Legos, so that's great. Okay, you know what? I think that one is gonna become my new Lego box. Yeah, I can fit, wow, I can fit all this in there. Yeah, the bottom is plenty sturdy. If I have another heavy box of Legos stacked on top of this, I don't think it's gonna push down on the lid too bad. I think it's gonna rest more on this edge. I thought maybe that this Trusco TRSC20B might fit on top, but I could not really figure out if it absolutely would. I'm not measuring these because all the dimensions inside and outside are on Amazon already for these items. I just couldn't figure out if the 20 liter stacked too wide side by side on the top of a 50 liter. It does. These don't appear to be manufactured by Sanko. I don't know if, you know, Trusco is contracting with Sanko to make these boxes, but I don't see the Sanko logo anywhere on these Trusco boxes. So Trusco TRS21F. Okay, so 
I don't see the Sanko logo hidden anywhere. Every piece says Trusco on it. They're compatible. So I don't know if there's a standard they're following or if these are actually made in the same factory by Sanko. Two of these stack on top, but does this stack on it this way? I guess I don't know that because there's these little bumpers here. Looks to me like it does. Everything seems to fit. Uh, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of sloppiness with the, in the fit, but I guess it basically stacks. So one more thing about these boxes. There's no metal. Sea salt, air, anything like that is not going to affect these boxes because these hinges are all plastic snapped together. You know, you can unsnap these lids and take them right off. They just all snap back together. So, so there's no metal pieces. It's all plastic. It's all polypropylene. Found quickly on the internet is that polypropylene degrades in ultraviolet light. So sunshine on these is going to degrade these unless they've been treated. I can't find any indication that these have been treated in any way for, for ultraviolet. So even if you're using these indoors and you're setting them next to a window, you could run into issues where these will fade or degrade over time. Just to have these decaled to give a hobby kind of a theme, you're paying a premium on these boxes, so you're gonna wanna take care of them. I, I would enjoy any feedback from people that have much more familiarity with these. I'm just discovering these. I think they're very interesting. I think they're fun. Prices on these things fluctuate significantly. Just checked right now on Amazon. This one is back up to 70 US dollars. I did not pay that. I paid less than 50, not including tax and shipping. Price had gone way down and I happened to notice it. And so I, I quickly put together an order. The shipping charges were about $50. I added a bunch of other small items if you're buying just one of these by itself, it's gonna feel like a total ripoff. So these are a real specialty item. So that is my review of the Groove Garage specialty hobby decorated Sanko manufactured Japanese folding boxes. Thank you for watching.